guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, well, this is weird. I'm on somebody else's channel. Cool. Today, me and Jake are going to be carving our pumpkins for Halloween so we can light them up and put them outside. By the way, I hate carving pumpkins. Just want to put that out there. Also, Marsh broke his hand and he has like a little cast on it. So if you hear him squirming around beside me, just because he's uncomfortable, he has a cast on his arm. He oh. just won't stop moving. He so just pray for Marshall in the comments before this video out. starts. Also, since we are carving pumpkins, I decided that I would tell you guys a little scary story, something freaky that just happened to me and Jake while we were away. It um, was pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I don't get creeped out by much, but this story that she's gonna tell you honestly creep me out it gives me the chills i feel like bad just like follows us around because we could be anywhere and something bad always happens that's the lifestyle of jake tuffner no matter what can happen it's always bad to me so we travel like five hours away to massachusetts where we're gonna go and do Halloween stuff and we get an Airbnb which is typical for people to do so the fact that this happened to us is funny It's like a really big old house Airbnb like it was a beautiful olden house a lot of uh, Massachusetts is Historical so like everything there is historical the houses and the buildings and everything so there it's more like their houses are weird and creepy like the monsters house have you ever seen that movie? Yeah we show up there and we saw the guy outside who we're renting from and we're like oh hi he was really creepy looking not gonna lie so like i don't like to judge people but he was a little creepy it was, was. a little it was a little scary at first i'm like hmm this is weird very very awkward communication skills with a guy that's renting to us you know it's yeah. like like weird weird stuff so strange anyway we're like okay whatever you know, he's weird. People are weird. That's okay. We go inside the house. We're putting all of our stuff down and everything. It's just like a creepy house because it's old and squeaky and all these like little things about it just make it so Such creepy. a nice house though. Yeah, it was really nice. Like a nice big house, but just like that old creepy weird feeling. It's like one of those houses where like you're walking on the floor and it's creaking because it's yeah. like old hardwood floor type of house. Yeah. The doors are all like really heavy. They have those shiny golden knobs on them. Stuff like that. Weird antique kind of looking house. So it was really nice. It was definitely a good feeling for and where we were going. Kind of like the Halloween spirit mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But it's a little bit more Halloween-y than we Then we had expected. hoped. Yeah. <laughs> well, we go out, we come back, all of the windows are open in the house. What? Like we know for sure we left them closed. So the fact that they're all open is just, okay, that's a little bit of a red flag. So first we see the guys is weird and then all of our windows are open. But we, but you would think like someone came in and went through our stuff, but all of our stuff was untouched. Like, like nothing was touched. Our bags were all in the same spot. We didn't really unpack much at this point. So like there was everything still in our bags and the bags were all zipped closed and we didn't understand why the windows were open. Yeah, so it's really weird. Why? So that was, that was the first like, okay, this is gonna be a little bit crazy. Yeah, we we're like, okay, we close the windows, whatever. And we go back out again because we didn't bring food or anything, so a lot of it was going in and out, getting food. Plus, we were going like the museums and Traveling, stuff, and yeah. like Salem, you know, the witch museums, and all that cool stuff that you get to do in Salem. That's what we were there for. Should we carve pumpkins? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Forgot we got too into the story. We forgot we're supposed to be carving pumpkins. We're gonna start carving pumpkins <laughs> as we tell you the story. How do I even do this? I don't know, but. I, there's stencils here. Do so I puncture can, it? Look, see, there's like a book. I got this at the store. It's it's like a book so you can carve a pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Jake's just going to go ahead and stab it. There you it. go. But oh, it's easy. stencils. What are you doing? Carving. you got to cut the head off first. You've got to dig all the stuff out. No, not too close. i got to dig it out? Yeah. With got, my head? No, that's what this is. Well, I'm using the super goop scooper. Oh, this is much better. I don't know if you guys remember from my channel, last time I carved a pumpkin when I was in Hollywood. And I like cut my finger halfway off because I was trying to use the wrong utensils to cut it. Yeah, that's why I hate carving pumpkins. Don't break that because I need it too. So we go out for dinner and we came back and all of the windows were open again. After we closed them. Already. After I told you we, we went home, they were open. We closed them, they were all open again. And we're like, okay, something's really weird here. Before nothing's touched, nothing, just the windows being open. All right, what is going on here? This is so creepy. We're just hanging out doing whatever we're like all right i guess that's the last time we're gonna be going out for tonight we're getting ready for bed and everything and i get in the bed and jake's doing whatever getting his pajamas on 
Oh my god, Jake. What? There's a big spider right there. Where? On <laughs> the bag of apples. Where? On the handle. I don't see it. It's crawling. <laughs> oh my god! Why is that there? <laughs> oh my god, it's jumping. It's jumping. <laughs> What am I gonna do? I don't know. What am I gonna do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't like spiders. Just oh. so everyone can see this spider. It's on the handle. It's on the other side. Dude, if that thing jumps on me, we are going to have a serious issue. What am I gonna do? Oh my god, it's huge. Oh. It's not even like we're gonna hit it with something because the handle's flimsy. Oh. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it with what? I don't know, kill it. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what am I Jake, gonna get you're it more with? scared than me. Are you kidding me? Are what you am a I woman? Get it with? You guys are freaking useless. Look at you both in the cage. Frick. Now what do we do? What are you doing? I'm trying to get it out the window. Brief intermission. <laughs> I just think it's gonna jump or something, is it? Oh my god, that thing is so sick. Ooh. Is it gonna jump on me? I don't know. I'm not a mind reader, Jake. Oh, I hate spiders. Should we still have the whole apples? No! They were expensive. You're lying. You can just buy anything at Apple. No, I'm not throwing them out. I think it's probably infested with spiders. No. <gasps> I say we just throw all the apples and I'll go buy new apples. No. <laughs> get it out. I can't get out. It's crawling in between the apples. How are you going to get it with your arms stuck all the way out like that? That was the worst attempt I've ever seen now in my it's life. The apples. I cannot believe you just did that. It's on the apple. I've been watching it sit on the apple. We needed to get these apples are contaminated now. We need oh to get my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So what our plan is to leave it outside until it goes away. <laughs> All right, back to our story time. Jeez. Okay, so. Before we were rudely interrupted. By a nasty spider. What were we talking about? Uh. What part were we at? I think we came back and the windows were open for the second time. <laughs> and then we're getting ready to go to sleep. Yep. I'm, I'm going to my pajamas. And I'm in bed already. And Jake's getting in bed. And we left the door open. We didn't close it yet. The bedroom door she's talking about. Yeah. And the bedroom door started to move. Like it started to start closing right yeah it was all slow and scary jake turned around while he's saying he's like oh my god look at that and i was in bed and i looked and i'm like oh my god what's going on is anyone touching that i was so and it couldn't have been the the wind because we closed the windows again at that point yeah the windows were closed everything was closed the front door there was nothing open there was like no movement in the house so the fact that the door was closing was like what is going on like it was so scary i'm starting to freak out at this point like okay something weird's going on here the windows are open the doors and moving on its own all throughout the night we started to hear all these creakings i swear i heard footsteps above us which makes no sense because i don't know what the heck was above us yeah i don't know what was going on it was so scary i didn't even want to sleep there anymore i was like what the heck are we gonna do uh, i didn't even want to stay there anymore that night i was like so freaked out i'm like scared i'm like this place is freaking haunted this is only I the can't first night here. this is only the first night too we're supposed to be there for like three days yeah so i was freaking out I'm like i can't stay in this house like it's haunted or whatever so we call the guy Trying to ask him, like, yo, why is there footsteps above us? Like, is there more people renting out, like, the story above us, or what's going on? Of course, the guy's not answering. And then when he finally does answer, he doesn't really give us any information about that. He just goes, oh, no, you guys are fine. There's nothing wrong with the house, this, that. We're like, okay, this guy just didn't even answer our question. But, okay, so that was that. The guy was no use at all. So, anyway, I stuck it out. I'm like, all right, we'll just stay here. And all throughout the night, we started hearing these little noises. We survived. The whole next day, we weren't really at the house that we rented. We were in and out doing a whole bunch of things but i was like okay maybe i can stick it out for one more night we got home after doing everything that day we hear a knock at the door really late at night it was probably about like 10 o'clock so i'm like so it's like who is knocking on our door at this time of day at 10 o'clock especially when the guy is just not answering our calls and stuff like that so it definitely wasn't him i was like oh this is really weird i go to open the door and nobody's there 
And this is probably a few minutes after because I'm like, what the heck? Who's here? We couldn't even see through the peephole because there is no peephole on those old houses. We're like, okay, this is really strange. And then I answered the door and no one's there. I don't know if they left or whatever had happened. We're looking out the window and I saw a guy like walking down the street. So I'm like, oh, okay, maybe that was him. Maybe they had a delivery or something. I have no idea. But then we go back to open the door. This is the best part right here. We go back to the open the door. We open the door and there is a lit with a candle in it, a jack-o-lantern sitting on our front step, dude. There had to be, so it had to be we a don't know if this is like a tradition in Massachusetts. It had to be a prank or something. We think the guy was pulling a prank on us, but he's not answering. He's a weirdo. So obviously she's freaking out. I didn't even get to film a video there. I, we drove all the way there. I wanted to film like a cool video for my channel. We didn't even do that. No, we're we didn't. freaked out. We're like, yeah. yo, why is there a jackpot like, in here? Maybe it would be good if I told the story while we were here and this is all happening, but I couldn't even think. Like, I was just too scared. Dude, and Paul is with us this whole time. Paul with the baldy, you know him, and he starts. Being some tough guy, like freaking out, saying he's gonna go beat up the guy that rent us the house if he doesn't give us any answers. So it just started going downhill from there. Like, yo, this house yeah. is haunted. There's like some serial killer or some like some crazy ghost things going on, and we were just getting no answers. So we go back out into Salem. We leave the house for the rest of the day. We pack our stuff, get in it, and we spent the rest of the day in like the witch museums and stuff like that. We didn't really film much because we were so shooken up by this whole jack o' lantern we, on our front step. We took a few photos while we were in. Salem. Salem, but we, we didn't do too much else and then he hopped in the car and we were on our way home I was seven like seven hours. I ain't going back there ever again. It was Yo, just insane got, that if, that happened to us because of course this follows us around everywhere we go We go five hours away and boom. Hey, something scary is happening. If you guys are from Salem, Massachusetts, we're not, obviously. Let us know in the comments if that's like a common prank or like a tradition you guys do around Halloween time is ding dong ditch and leave a jack-o'-lantern on someone's doorstep. Because we're not from there and the fact that, you know, we were renting an Airbnb and we already are in like a creepy setting, hearing noises and we hear these windows open and stuff like that. We're on edge. And yeah. when we open the door to that, that was just like, that was the threshold that was right there. Scary. We're like, all right, we're out of this place. Yep. All right, so we're gonna finish carving up these pumpkins because we got basically nothing done. You got, you didn't even open your top yet. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much for listening in on my story time. I hope you guys are having a good October, fall, Halloween-y season. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you share it with your friends. You actually like it, you comment, and you come back next time to watch the next one. Love you guys.